Okay, so welcome to part two of turtle functions. And we're going to run this and see what we have so far. So we have created a function called draw square and a function called draw triangle. And we are calling those functions in a row. And drawing looks a little bit like a little bit like a city skyline. Okay, so what we want to do now is we want to keep our code as short as possible and as efficient as possible. So what I want to do is I want to, I want to replace these two separate functions with one function. And we're going to do this by sending a value. So I'm going to make a new function called draw shape. Okay. And in here, I'm going to use the variable name shape. Okay, this is going to be a string. So what's going to happen is if shape equals square, okay, and then I need to indent this, I'm going to draw my square. Okay, and then here, what I'll do is go if oops, if shape equals triangle, same code, I'm going to draw my triangle. Still a little long, but we'll get to that in a little bit uh, in a different lesson. But basically, what we've done is we've taken two separate functions, turned them into one by using a couple if statements inside. Okay, so down here, I'm going to change it from draw square to draw shape. And what we have to do is we have to tell it which shape. So square. So square is here, and same thing up here. Okay, so shape is this. So when I call the function draw shape, this value square is passed on to shape. So shape equals square. So if shape equals square, it's going to do that. And if I send triangle, it's going to do that. So let's delete these. We don't need it. And hopefully, if all goes well, we'll get the same result we got last time. OK, so let's run that. OK, we got our square. We got our triangle. Got another square. We got our triangle. Exact same result. So you can see how this works. Look at it one more time. Uh, we defined our function, draw shape, and we called our variable shape. So that variable is part of this function. So if that shape equals square, now that comes from here. So when we call the function, uh, if it's expecting a string, we got to send a string. Okay, so we sent one value to the function. Okay, so if that shape equals triangle, it draws a triangle. Pretty simple. And again, we have the exact same uh, result as we had last time.